I feel kind of sad that it's the last night in the honeymoon. This has been awesome so far. I obviously love being with Ashley when we're here, so it's like, it's too perfect and it's like it's like kind of sad to see it go but it's also kind of bittersweet because we have a lot more to do in the next seven weeks you know moving in and everything like that so going back home and getting back to reality with ashley now in my reality if our honeymoon is any indication of how our relationship is going to be going forward i'm ecstatic where are we gonna go when we get home what do you mean? like we don't have a home <laughs> I just figure all that out. I don't like the not knowing, you know? I like to make a plan. I am sad that the honeymoon is over. It was everything that I hoped for. But my concern in the next eight weeks is not being able to sustain our marriage. I think we are obviously going to run into some issues. Hopefully, they're not going to be that bad. And I'm pretty sure we're going to look back on these eight weeks, 10 years from now, and be like, it's the best thing we ever did. What is your biggest fear? Failure. I don't like to fail. What about you? My biggest fear in life is that I will miss the opportunity to have children. You're sorry. I've seen so many people, my sister included, have such a hard time getting pregnant. I don't want to be like, 40 and have a two-year-old, you know? <laughs> like, I want to have kids and then, you know, be able to enjoy them. Assuming best case scenario for us, who would you like to start having kids? Best case scenario, like, a year? Really? Like, That's could it? try. Like, you try. It could take us three years to have them, you know? You know, you're talking about marriage and the kids and like in a month of each other. I know she wants to plan and I get that, but hey, breathe. Um. If Anthony was like, oh, I don't want to have kids for five years, that's definitely a deal breaker. In the sense that I don't, I don't feel like I have five years to wait.